Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This motion on a ramp problem talks about bobsledding, and they tell us that in one event, these sleds reach a top speed of 9.2 meters per second before it starts down the initial part of the track. They say that the track is sloped downward at an angle of six degrees, and they want us to find the speed after it's traveled the first 100 meters. Let's draw a picture. So we have a section of the track here, they say that it's angled at six degrees. And this section we'll say is 100 meters. Now from the book, we'll use the equation of acceleration on an inclined plane, and that's equal to plus or minus gravity times the sine of theta. A couple problems ago, there were several questions where it asked where this equation came up, and we talked about the derivation of this equation. In this problem, we're not going to worry about it. So if you want to go back and review that, it's really helpful to understand why this equation is set up the way that it is. We're going to be using a tilted grid. So we have y, and then this is x. So we're going in the positive x direction. So we'll use a positive g here. So acceleration will equal to a positive g times the sine of theta. And so plugging in our values, we have 9.8 meters per second squared times sine of the angle six degrees. So acceleration is going to be equal to 9.8 times sine of six. And we have 1.02, 1.02 meters per second squared for the acceleration as the bobsled is going down the incline plane. Now that we have the acceleration, we can find what the final speed was after 100 meters. So we need to use a kinematic equation, obviously. And the one that we'll be using is V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus two A delta X. The reason we're using this one is because we don't have any time in the problem. And this is the only kinematic equation that doesn't have time as one of the variables. Now in this equation, there's nothing that's zero, so we don't need to simplify anything out but we do need to isolate the velocity final. So we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. So V final will be equal to the square root of the initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration times delta X. So the initial velocity they tell us is 9.2 meters per second. We'll square that and we'll add two times the acceleration, which we found right here is 1.02 meters per second squared times the distance, which we said is 100 meters in the problem. And we'll take the square root of all of that. So we have the square root of 9.2 squared plus two times 1.02 times 100 gives us a final speed of the bobsled after 100 meters of 17 meters per second.